Albert Einstein proposed that the closer someone is to a gravitational mass, the slower time passes. He called this idea gravitational time dilation, one of the core principles of his theory of general relativity. It's a principle we witness every day, we just don't notice it. To test this out, a man bought two atomic clocks and went on a camping trip with his family. His wife stayed at the bottom of Mount Rainier with one of the clocks, while him and his kids took the second clock up the mountain. They camped at the top for two days, and when they returned to the bottom, they compared the clocks. The clock taken up the mountain was 20 nanoseconds ahead of the clock that remained at ground level. This difference is caused by gravitational time dilation. It proves that the higher we are, the faster time passes. You're probably wondering, if this effect is too subtle to notice, why does it matter? Well, the fact that time passes slower near large masses is what causes objects to fall. Through quantum mechanics, we know that all particles exhibit wave-like behavior. Let's use a graph to portray a particle hovering at a certain height. On the vertical axis, we have height, and on the horizontal axis, we have time multiplied by the speed of light to have units of length. So at a certain height, time passes, but the height stays the same. Now let's add a large mass, the Earth. Time slows down closer to the surface of a large mass. So the bottom portion of the particle's wavefront moves slower than the top portion, causing the whole wave to turn. This is easier to understand using ocean waves as an analogy. Ocean waves move slower in shallow water, so when waves approach land, the shallower bottom slows them down from one side, while the other side continues at the same speed, causing the whole wave to turn towards land. In the same way, time moving slower near a large mass causes the particle wave to turn towards the mass. As the particle's wavefront turns, the particle drops by a height h, while the difference in time elapsed is delta t. Next, we see that the slope of the trajectory is velocity over the speed of light. Using these similar triangles, as well as Einstein's formula for gravitational time dilation, we can derive the formula for the velocity of the particle. Notice that this formula has no variable for force in it, because in fact, there is no force that causes objects to fall to the ground. The force is an illusion. It is the fourth dimension, time, that is playing a key role here. Every second that we are standing here, we are actually moving 300,000 kilometers through time. This is extremely fast, so you can imagine that slight dilations in time is what causes things to fall so abruptly. And that is exactly what happens. <laughs>